Pelicans escape in Chicago win 115-111 presented to you by Company Burger and DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the NBA and Boot Crew Media. Joined here with five, Chaz and Lido. Just got off the live stream, so thanks for everyone that joined us. Before we get into the show, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on the game. Five, I'm always going to start off with you first. Um, look, a win to win. Uh, there are some positives. There are some negatives. Um, let's talk positive first, though. Uh, Herb Jones tonight was absolutely fantastic. We were talking about it on the live stream. But when the game's on the line, I trust him the most to hit those free throws. He, he goes four for four uh, late there in the like, last 15 seconds. Goes five nine from the field. Uh, 17 points, three assists. He was he was everything tonight. Hey, did he he didn't miss that last one, which he came off an offensive rebound. That wasn't him. They I thought it might have been him. Maybe I missed I that one. No, that was Zion. Seven. That was Zion. Zion missed Zion the, very, missed the very last one. Her was seven for eight. Her was seven for eight from the free throw line. So yeah, they had the very last one. That very last one. But but anyway, I, whatever. I'm sorry. But He's still, anyway, I thought I still thought it was a good miss. To be honest, I. You know, yeah, it gets the game over than, with. Right, yeah. less than five seconds left. But anyway, Herb, Herb is Herb. Herb's a basketball player. He's not just a defensive specialist. He's not a great shooter. You know that. But he knows how to play basketball. That was a play in the fourth quarter. Not just not just the free throws. I think the play was it was like a swing, swing rotation. I think they were helping off uh Zion or Brandon, and he takes it right up through through the alley yes. for for a right handed. Left-handed layup, right? But he moved, he had his momentum moving before he caught the ball. Yeah, yeah. that's a high basketball IQ play. He know he knew where the gaps were in the defense, and he and he took advantage, man. And, and you know the play that Wild does for sure is the the oh. steal, full speed, run out of court, boom, boom, pat, pat, get to the rack. Like man, that's that's not easy. And I think we, I think if you show the the stream again, like all our reactions were the same. Like oh my. God, like that's not an easy play to make. He may make it seem like it's routine, but that guy is, I think, the smartest basketball player on our team, bar none. Hands down, it's not even close. Lito, we also discussed going to negatively, uh, or negative. Um, the way Zion, I'm not mad at Zion. I thought the way we used him tonight was very interesting. Uh, a lot of times you saw him the right block and they would feed him in there and a double team would ensue. A double team would come, and nobody would cut. A lot of turnovers off of that. Like, what? What are your thoughts there? Um, because lately, there in the fourth quarter, they finally get him, got him the ball with momentum going to the goal. I asked you on the live stream, "What did you want me to talk about?" I have nothing positive to say about this game. There's not. There's. I mean, it's a win, but like that shit. Like, if this is what you consider a, 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 a <clears throat> somebody had to win. It was bad basketball. It's bad basketball all the way around. Um, I don't know what we doing as far as like Zion. I have no idea what we doing. I don't know how we using them. We not giving him the ball. I think he he shot eleven shots tonight. He yeah, eleven field goal attempts. He, he got eleven the field goal attempts line eight times. He caught fire in the third quarter. Immediately as he caught fire, uh, he was taking out the game. Um, I'm not I'm not I'm not sure. Like we stashing him in the corner. He's 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 not. I mean, I could see that if I'm Zion, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because, like, what, what the fuck am I doing? What did I just? What did I sign up for? Like, this? Have y'all seen me play basketball before? Has anybody yeah. watched me play? He needs the ball in his hands more. On top of the key, me and Jared were talking about that. Chaz, another guy that I don't understand, um, is Dyson Daniels missing from the rotation, especially uh, with no Larry Nance tonight. Um, Brandon got in foul trouble early on. Um, you know what's what do you see in there? Um, I think I think with with some of the rotation issues, you got to just start using the word "we" a lot. Then you got to approach Coach Green and you got to say, "Look, we know what you're doing. We wanted to stop. We are watching you." You see, "we" is a very intimidating word. You're like, "Oh, oh shit, we? Who, who, are, who are these people?" Right? Um, there's no logic behind not playing Dyson at this point. Even if you wanted to experiment with the lineup, even if you wanted to say, I guess the crutch you would probably lean on is that uh Devontae Graham gives you the best chance for um 
creating offense is like that's not necessarily true. I don't agree with that whatsoever because Devontae doesn't offer anything when he isn't scoring. To his credit, came in tonight, hit a three, hit one of our what three threes. So you gotta, you know, hit a three, had a couple um deflections, one interception. Um it's just there's a lot of there's a lot of fault to go around, but I for one think a lot of it starts at the top. Um to echo you know, a, a wise man in Lido. You know, you got you see Zion playing tremendous basketball in the third. You sub him out with for JV. Um, then you immediately, well, not immediately, you sub him back in with 68 seconds left in the fourth. I didn't, I didn't understand the logic behind that. Um, I think you mean the third, but yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, the third, the third, and uh, then in the fourth again, he starts to get his momentum going. Then guys start playing buddy ball. Um, this, there was several. Um, <laughs> So, like, you know, they're freezing them out like fucking Jordan in the All-Star game. It's like, come on, like, let's let's get some structure yeah. here, man. Yeah, I that was confusing. Um, Jared, let's have a let's have an honest conversation here. Uh I have not liked what I've seen from CJ McCollum. Another bad night from the field, three or thirteen, oh five from deep. How many turnovers do you have? He had two, at least two of those shots were turnovers, so I'll give him about four. Um just another bad night. I feel like he's forcing a lot. Maybe he's not finding his rhythm. I mean, what are you seeing uh, from him? I think there, there needs to be a come to Jesus moment. You know, what do you, explain it. What do you mean? I think there needs to be, you know, he like wine, gets a, get a bottle of wine, his most expensive. What you, what you got? What you got that chest? Uh, his most expensive bottle that he can find at the venue. Lito, you too. Uh, have really Who's green. Alcoholics? <laughs> Find Willie Green, Brandon Ingram, true. Zion. Have David Griffin in there, Trajan Lane. They all can be there. And everybody needs to have an honest and open conversation about who is the man on this team. There needs to be roles and defined roles. And right now, that the the option for him to be, you know. I don't know who the Pelicans are popping fireworks at the, at the facility, but there's fireworks going on right now. Uh, but I understand CJ thinks he's still in Portland mentally. He ain't there no more. This is a different team. We we need his services in the middle quarters. The second and third quarters, he should be able to shine, you know, with the second unit and he be the you know player that he needs to be then. But when it's time for Brandon and Zion to get on the court. We need to play through them. I mean, I I don't know which, how to how to say it any more than that. Like, this ain't your team. It's theirs. You need to play through them and get your shots off off their creation, not your own. Well said, Lito. Um, this is kind of off the cuff, but after the game tonight, Brandon Jen Hale was interviewing Brandon Ingram, and Brandon Ingram literally just said. We are still shit on defense, and so they got to get better, and it's on him, CJ, and Zion. I appreciate an honest man. Honest did get you everywhere in life. Self-realization, self-actualization. He looked in the mirror. He saw, like, and you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't think he's looked in the mirror. In, yeah, sometime. He, yeah. In, in some time. <laughs> he looked at the film. Oh, <laughs> go, he, go the, he, the, he, he watched the, it. Yeah, he got the, the Jay-Z, J. Cole thing going on. But uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like. You know what? They were shit. But some I'm guys are more shit than others. Admitting that. Yeah, some yeah. guys are more shit than others. So yeah. um that 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 that's that's one part of it. And 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 I had a question for five. Uh you said he's not in Portland. Let me ask you a question though. My question to you is 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 does that mean he's physically not the same guy as he was in Portland, or just there are he should acclimate himself to what's on the roster and 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 act accordingly. No, this is a, just a different ask. You know, this is a different ask than what he's been. He was asked to do in Portland. You know, and it, like it's cool to be the second guy. You know, when you got somebody like Dame, but now it's like you're the third. You're the third. So those those come with different responsibilities, and facilitating should be your first one. Shooting should be your second. Creating should be, well, really a third. So 
like creating for yourself. And, and I'm saying that like he doesn't do enough of that. He doesn't do enough of creating for others first and then getting his. There was a moment there, Jared, I think it might have been second quarter. Brandon got off the ball. I forget who it was to. It was the right read. And you were like, he makes that pass. Who doesn't make that pass? Right. Yeah. And it's CJ McCollum. He he forces so much. And I like him. Listen, I like him, but he's got to realize he's the third option on the team. He ain't the first and he ain't the second. I thought this was understood coming into the year. It doesn't look like it's understood. Yeah, those those step back threes. I mean, we hate him. We hated him when Lonzo did him. Now we really hate him because we felt we felt like CJ knew better. Like we, we you those are not necessary at this point. Until you no. gather a rhythm, until you if you've made five in a row, bro, I understand shooting that at that point. But you've missed six in a row and you shoot that shit. That's that's a, that's a turnover. The the defense wants you to shoot at that point, man. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about CJ. Can I expand on one thing, real, real quick? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So I said I had nothing positive to say, but I do have, I do have one positive thing to say. JV was damn good. I was just Hell about. Yeah. That was gonna be my next note to Chaz. My, my ahead, bad. Man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. No, nah, JV was damn good, man. And I think, you know, Justin, me, and you have had this conversation about JV, and um, like I feel like if you if you have all this talent, right. Which which we have, which we've never had before. I think strategically we have to do better in getting guys the ball, man. Like you, you got guys on the roster who can score the ball. JV was twenty, he had twenty one and thirteen. He took thirteen shots. Like he played thirty minutes. CJ played thirty four minutes. He was three of thirteen. He had five assists. I need CJ to have more assists than that. If you, if he needs to have more assists and less shot attempts. I hate to say it, but. It, it ain't it's not working right now. Like it's just not. And like once again, Chaz, Jose Alvarado, he comes in and instantly changes the game. Instantly. And he gets uh-huh. 13 minutes tonight. He plays six minutes in the first like what end of the first, beginning of the second. Then you don't see him the rest of the second. Then you really don't really see him much in the third. And then he's out for the whole fourth. Um I, I I'm gonna say I I I would like to see CJ have less responsibility, right? I, I just I don't even want this, says CJ. I just don't want I don't even want you worrying about that, brother. I want you coming in the game around the six minute mark, five minute mark, and just letting them fly. That I think that's your role at this point. And I, I say that because with CJ shooting the way he's shooting and his lack of facilitation at this point in the flow of the game, you kind of neutralize JV's effectiveness. JV was as good as he was tonight because he initiated a lot of the off. Give me the ball. He got the ball and he just went for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't looking, he wasn't depending on his guard to get him into the flow of the game. Um, and I think CJ, that's not his skill set, especially at this stage in his career. It's it's like, bro, we, we've seen this happen before with other players other like really solid offensive players like Iguodala and there was a reason Ginobili wasn't a starter necessarily like you know what I'm saying like you you've seen this before when you have an abundance of talent that doesn't mean they're all gonna mesh well at the same time so you don't want to neutralize JV by hoping CJ is on that night just put him in position to succeed you got a, a, a really solid guy in Jose you know what I mean just um just you know, put CJ on the bench, man. So, so five. Do you think that Jose deserves to start over CJ? Coming off of Chaz's point, that, that can be challenged. I'm not. I'm not tripping about starting. Right. If if CJ can do what we saw with Brooklyn, right? Where he was. I think he was great. Right. He was. He had almost eight assists, low turnover numbers. You know, it, he was facilitating to to Brandon and Zion, and. <laughs> that's how that's how that went. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he can get back to that, and I think what hurt, really what hurt is when those guys got hurt, you know, those that's guys got hurt, and he was asked to shoot through those again because he needed to, you know, we needed to put up more shots. And now he's in that kind of rhythm, and now he's got to get back out of it. Right now he's got to lower his, his shot attempts, which is, which is tough for somebody. But he's old enough to understand that. He's old enough to understand, like, these guys got it going. Um... Well, if he, always if he, he, no, I'm I mean, saying, if he I'll, didn't notice that, then why isn't he not doing it? 
I don't know. Somebody why, probably needs to tell him. Why is the coach not telling him? Uh, so then, Lito, so then is this a Coach Green? Like, do you think Coach Green's encouraging more shots from CJ? Or do you think CJ's just in his head about this? I mean, if he has eyes and he's watching the games, I don't know how he could be encouraging more when, like, he's, yo, listen, I'm, I'm going to say this. I have no doubt in my mind that CJ is going to correct this. He's going to, his shot is going to eventually come on, right? But, like, right now, while you have, I feel like you got JV, you have CJ, like, they don't have the young, the, they don't have the young youngest legs on the team. I feel like we should use their legs when we need them, which would be towards the end of the season, more so in the playoffs, right? Let Zion and B.I. go. Let them go. Let them run the let, I have, let, I have let, a let question. Them. Yeah. Do you guys think Coach is allowing the guys to self-govern themselves too much in the offense? Feels like it. Yeah. Seems like it. That like seems... they need a little more, yeah. you Coaching. know, rigidness. Like, yeah, hold on, like, yeah, don't do that. Stick it's too to much. It's quick. too much freedom. It's too yeah. much freedom. Well, it's yeah. too much freedom for certain players. I think. I think that. I think. I would like to see the ball in Zion's hand way more, and not at the block. I don't mean at the block. I mean I'm, at the I'm, top, I'm, of the top of the key. I, I always want to talk about this, right? And, and especially when I even brought up the, the notion of Zion. If Zion rebounded better, then right, he wouldn't have to worry about you know being stuck in the post. But also, if he took the ball out of bounds, like on a made bucket or something, that way he's or trailing. He's Last trailing, person, right? Yeah. Because Jonas gets a lot of those trail three. Trail, like, then reverse, and then yeah. triple handoffs. Yeah. yeah. If Zion's that way, then he's not stuck in the corner. He's always in the action. And, and then you always have some kind of advantage, uh, somebody, you know, over helping or sticking to Zion or what if they go with Brandon or, or if CJ has a high hand, what if they double CJ? And then you always get a good look. And then I think if Zion became one better rebound, the two better screener, everything opens up. Just don't stick him in the corner. That that shit is some shit. <laughs> I never never in my life did I think <clears throat> that I think that I would see more offensive creativity from Stan Van Gundy than Willie. To to yeah. if if you look in the systems that Willie's been in, you know what I'm saying, Phoenix, Golden State, whoever, right? Like I I feel like he's had enough unique players around him to where like he would be able to understand like how to use them as a chess piece. It's different when you're the top dog, though. It's different when you. That's true. And look, I ain't you know? we, we ain't bagging on Will either. I just yeah feel know. like he needs the ball at the top of the key more. I, I, it's very simple. This is a very simple fix, and I just what, they, they what are the assistant coaches saying? No, no, like don't no no. I'm like there's nobody. Casey Hill's the offensive coordinator, by the way. But it I could, it could be an issue where guys don't like that shit. Like players, they need to get over it, though. They could be an issue with some guys. The worst like part it. about this, like I don't mean cut you off, Chaz. I'm sorry, but the yeah, worst yeah. part about this is that what are they, Jared? The top seven offensive rated team in the NBA on yeah. Like, so so rating? it then it so it looks like that's the thing. Like it's this false achievement. It's crazy. It, it may the numbers may tell you, hey, you're a good offensive team. But when you watch it, it looks like some shit. Like it don't it don't <laughs> correlate to what the numbers are giving you. Like that's why statistics can be manipulated into what you want it to be. Like if you watch watch that Golden State scene without Steph and Clay and and, and Draymond, they still move. They constantly Trey move. Trey never stop. I mean, uh, Steph never but, stopped. But moving. but then Jared, why does Herb always cut? If we're talking about all like, what, why does Herb always? Like, Why is Herb always cutting? Because you, because but when we began the show, you said he had a high because, IQ. Yeah, because he has IQ, and there's too much freedom. You know what happens with freedom, right? You have the ability to do something and not do it. You have the ability to not do it if you don't want to. But if you were told to do that, if this was the play to actually run, you would do it. We ran in high school. We ran a motion offense. It was predicated on movement. You had options to do whatever you want, but you had to move. I think we need to have some kind of motion where it's movement all over the place and not just standing but in the corner. I, I just, it's like, we'll be one of our final thoughts. I'm going to go out. I just, I, I highly doubt that 
Willie Green saying, hey, Zion, I understand the corner. Why is actually, he doing it then? I know for a fact it's actually not. not so not why not. is he standing in the corner? So is Casey Hill saying you anything? Have, you, <laughs> I think you know, Jared. Okay. I, I just, I think that Zion offensively, and I don't mean this in the wrong, I don't think he's a very high IQ basketball player. Well, I, I would I would disagree with you there for this That's one fine. reason. Because you know why? Trey Murphy stands in the corner exactly the same. Trey Murphy's a shooter. Zion isn't. I don't give a damn. If you're a basketball player, you move. Especially when you're a shooter. You so then why just... do some, what I'm saying is why do some players move and some players don't? It's too much freedom. Okay, there you go. Maybe it's too much freedom then. Then, then, then you're right about that. Then you're completely right about that. But all I know is that, look, the Pelicans are 6-5. and five. They're coming home. They're over 500. Has it been rocky? Yes. Is there time to figure this out? Yes. And is it okay to critique them right now? Yes. So that's what I'm a damn breath dude. about that. That's what I'm gonna do. As you should. I don't Brandon Ingram for, for instance, tonight, they didn't play well. They played like shit again. They had another slow start, sloppy offense, bad turnovers. Defensively, they had some breakdowns. But at the end of the day, they got a fucking win. They're up six and five, and they go from there. Um, Jared, final thoughts then Lito and Chaz, real quick. The new ste- the new season started today. The Pelicans got off is one and oh in the second part of the season. Next 10. Um, they play at home Sometimes. on What's the next? Oh, they play on uh, the next ten, including tonight. They play at home seven times. Seven times. So pack the blender, pull up. Um, we need to, we need to see what this next ten looks like. Uh, hopefully the rotation is a l- little different. Also, be honest. Shout out to my dog Najee. Shout out to my dog Jose. Put them boys on the floor more. So that lead up. The thirteen minutes for Jose Alvarado has to stop. Devontae Graham does not need more minutes than Jose. Playing Dyson Daniels, not playing Dyson Daniels has to stop. I see why Willie gets DMPs. Zion and Brandon <laughs> should shoot minimum 20 shots a game apiece. Yeah. Minimum 20, 20 shots. Again, Trey had three shots. Like they I figured that out. We we have to rectify these situations. We there's film. Th- there's film out there. <laughs> like we should watch film. Also, we need to know our personnel defensively. We have to stop leaving. You don't go to Pat Williams and leave Zach Levine in the corner. Like, you don't – it's just certain things we got to figure out. Other than that, we're 6-5, and better than we were last year. Am I happy with how we got here and what we – I'm not. I'm not. But – Chaz, real quick. Make it short and sweet. It starts at the top. And it has to stop. <laughs> for any of my DraftKings, this is six and five right now. Uh, for any of my DraftKings NBA fans, way is over. Basketball is back. So the tip off the season with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting part of the NBA. New customers can make any $5 NBA money line bet and get $200 in free bets. If your team wins, use code BOOT. Once again, make any $5 bet this week and get $200 in free bets. If your team wins only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code BOOT. Pelicans are six and five. Play tomorrow at home against Portland. Lido five. Chaz joining us. We look somber. We look really somber right now, but we have a fucking winning ass record. So look, take it to the bank. Jared, you you good? You good? Yeah, man. Look, like you no know, winning don't. You no, know, just There's make me things smile. Things need to be fixed. Yeah, things man. need to be fixed. I'm mad about the Lakers game. <laughs> oh, well, I'm about to look at it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> See y'all later. Appreciate it. All right. Damn, Lito didn't even hit him with the car call. I thought, I mean, I thought the car call. No, they not. They don't. They don't oh, oh, yeah. it's it's like, I ain't gonna lie. Watching it's still going on. It's still going on.